Welcome to a refreshing time in God's presence. The message you are about to listen to is a message of enthronement, empowered, ruggedized, fire eyes from heaven and has the capacity of turning your world around. Now get set to be transformed through the entrance of God's word as you listen to Bishop Okudile Eze, the founding bishop of Zion Heritage and Miracle Ministries, Abuja. Stay tuned. John chapter number 5 from verse 1 through 9. Shout hallelujah. Let's read like a mass choir, everybody. After this, there was a feast of the Jews. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And there is at Jerusalem by the ship market a pool. Which is called in the Hebrew tongue, Bethsaida. Having how many porches? Having five porches. Number three, like a mass choir. In this lay a great multitude of important folk, of blind, hot, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water, whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Are you still with me? Verse 5, everybody. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Will thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another step it down before me. Verse 8. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy and do what? That will be your testimony tonight. And verse 9. Everybody, and immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked and on the same day was the Sabbath. Say amen to that. Luke chapter number 21 and verse 13. Luke chapter 21 and verse 13. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. And he shall turn to you for a testimony. Can we highlight it everybody? One to go. Now put your hands upon your chest. I want you to personalize that prophecy. One to go. If you really believe it, shout it. Let devil hear your voice. If you believe that, shout settled. Please sit down on the hands of your enemies. As you are sitting down, you are being transformed. I want to look at the subject tonight when God breaks a protocol. I don't know whom God has sent me for. But I have an understanding that in the next 50 minutes, God is about to break a protocol for somebody's blessings. I want us to understand that after this, there is always a celebration. What you've been through, what you are passing through, is not the end of what God can do. Beyond your current pain, beyond your current affliction, there is something we call after now. After now shall be the manifestation of prophecies, the reality of divine manifestation of the audacity of the blessings of God. From where we took our death, the Bible said, after this, there was a feast. I stand to prophesy. After this encounter, the next pot of call for celebration shall be in your house. Abuja will gather to have a feast in your house. If you believe me, shout after this. I can't hear you. Shout after this. After now you have survived that battle, I see Jehovah God raising a table of multifaceted celebration in your office, in your house, in your village. As many as they are that are connected with you will join in that manifestation. Can I hear you shout a better amen? 
Now the Bible said in Jerusalem there was a sheep market by the side of a pool. Now each time the scripture talks about water or pool, that is a figurative, pictorial, prophetic representation of the world in Revelation. How do I know the Bible said in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 23? He said that God may wash them by the washing of the water by the word. So, what the scripture is talking about, that there is a pool of the place of the house of the world that had five outworkings of the manifestation of the power and deeper dimensions of the art working of the gifts of the Holy Ghost. We are told that this pool had five porches and these five porches represents the apostolic ministry, the prophetic ministry, the pastoral ministry, the prophetic ministry and the teacher's ministry and the evangelistic ministry. In other words, in the house of the world, in the place of divine tabernacle, anywhere God manifests the food of his Shekinah there is always a huge deposit of the entirety of the personality of the revelation of the word of God and the move of the power of God Luke chapter 5 verse 17 says as Jesus was teaching the word that the power of God was present to heal so what is the morale God is telling us tonight under this atmosphere Lamas Keribra Eskataya, the fivefold prophetic anointing by the word is in oppression. Whatever that escaped the evangelistic anointing will not escape the apostolic anointing. Will not escape the pastoral anointing. Will not escape the apostolic anointing. The teacher's anointing. If you rise up and say amen, somebody shall I hear you. So the Bible says in time past, of course you need to know, this is the continuation of the Old Testament order. So there was a protocol for somebody to be a partaker of the striking and the stirring of the rivers of the world for the miraculous. And we are told that at this pool lies an assemblage of all kinds of people that are distressed, that are troubled, that are frustrated. I came tonight to prophesy to you. I don't know what made it to run into the house of God. In the presence of God, there is the fullness of his grace. I came to prophesy whatever that pursued you into this house. If you stand up and say amen, it shall be a thing of the past. As I, it shall be a thing of the past. As I, it shall be a thing of the past. As a, it shall be a thing of the past. Wave your hand and shout, I believe. I can hear you shout, I believe. Now, by way of definition, what is a protocol? A protocol is a code of conduct or oppression that underguys dealing in a system. I say it again. A protocol is a code of conduct or oppressional system that underguys the move of things in a place or in a system. And we are told at these five parties called the Pool of Bethsaida, there was an established ancient mosaic code of protocol and order that underguys who is going to be the first recipient of the workings of the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, we, we are told there we are four observable protocols at the pool of Bethsaida. How many protocols? Talk to me. It's always a four protocols. Number one, we are told you can't get your healing until the water moves. Number one, the protocol number one, if you are going to be made whole and you receive a miracle, you must have patience for the movement of the water. Can I shout the movement of the water? Say it again. Somebody say movement of the water. Say it again. Say movement of the water. So number one protocol is what? When the water moves or the water moving will now elicit a certain kind of dimensional move. Number two protocol is that an angel must stir the water. An angel must stir the water. 
These are the protocols you must satisfy in order to be a recipient at the pool of Bethsida. Number three protocol, it was a seasonal encounter for a change. The Bible says that the angel comes at a certain season. In other words, if the season you meet was not your season, you wait for another season. Am I communicating? All right. Number four protocol. He says, whoever that enters first. So you might be able to be position yourself for the real season, but if luck runs out of you and you weren't the first person, that means you are going to obey the, 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 the there's going to be a recurrence of the operation of the four protocol listen to me that was the scenario at that place and the bible told us there was a man that's been in this terrain and the atmosphere of this porridge and all oh, he was not able to be well because of his inability to be able to satisfy this protocol but we are told on a certain day in a certain season a certain man came and said do you want to be made whole and because of the aftermath of varying degrees of former failures instead of saying I need it because I do not have the capacity to be able to be helped he said I do not have a man I pray for somebody here when the protocols of Jehovah when God begins to break protocols and show so many mercy a man cannot be the missing link I pray for somebody here the protocols of your father's house the protocols of your mother's house every according protocol that say you will not be blessed this season if you rise up and say amen God will settle you I said God will settle you I said God will settle you wave your hand and shout no more protocol I'm not hearing you wave your hand and shout no more protocol and Jesus said, do you want me to make you whole? I'm not talking to you as a man who don't understand the workings of the protocol. I know protocol number one, two, three, four is against you. But I'm asking you a question. Do you want to be made whole? And the man said, I do not have a man. Ladies and gentlemen, excuse me. I feel like telling somebody, if man refuses to help you, God will step in. If man says, I won't pay your bill, God will contact the sea of heaven if man says you are the reason why you are not going to see the light of day David said the other day I will lift up my eyes to the hills we are coming my help my help will come from the Lord in case you are here the reason why you have not a cell is because of a certain man that is prolonging demonic protocol I came by the audacity of heaven I came by the mantle of Jehovah over my life if you stand up and say amen God will suspend the protocol I say heaven will suspend the protocol wave your hand and shut no more protocol I can't feel your floor wave your hand and shut no more protocol he said are you talking about man when God is involved he said, no, 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 you don't need to talk about my, I am he that is the resurrection and life. I am before you. Whatever you could have needed tomorrow, ask now, because now all things. Put your hands up on your head. I'm telling you the truth. Anywhere they have rejected you. Because you do not how you do not know how to function by the protocols of men. I bring the audacity of heaven. I superimpose the order of heaven. Malia as copra is near. After tonight, that protocol is broken. That protocol is broken. The bull is a revelation but Jesus is a living personality whatever that it was in the pool was in him in fact the pool couldn't be efficacious if he's not around the pool wasn't giving him life he is a life giver to the pool so he that misses the pool and have Jesus has everything you don't understand you don't understand put your hands upon your head some say I have Jesus protocol or no protocol I speak into my life after this meeting whatever that is long overdue if you say amen there will be a release right now 
wave your hand and shout no more protocol maybe your father's altar your mother's shrine with the limitation of your root is saying you won't be blessed in abuja but i came to ask a question who is he that serves 18 and it comes to pass if jehovah god the protocol breaker has not declared it ah david said when i'm abandoned by my mother abandoned by my father please take me to the rock that is higher than i i pray for somebody here you have come to the holy hill of messiah you have come to the mountains, the Jerusalem, the place of the multitude of angels, the ground and the pillar of truth. I pray for somebody here between now and the last nine days of March. Any protocol that has resisted you as your MS love the devil, the protocol shall be broken. I said the protocol shall be annihilated. Somebody shut I am coming out. Collect high five from nine person. Tell him have no more protocols. Stand to your feet. Are you not glad the person? Collect, say, tell the person no more protocols. Nothing can stop me after tonight. You are not talking to that person. Are, are you hearing what I'm saying tonight? Look at me. What I'm teaching you tonight is highly prophetic. After tonight, nothing ever can be able to arrest the emergence of your glory. Look at me. Don't ever believe anyone that says ancestral cause. It's part of the protocol. I'm breaking it now. For he that has the life has God. Put your hands up on your head. So you don't have any reason to tell me that you failed in 2019. Because I came with a mantle to suspend the protocols of men. And to superimpose the order of heaven's oppression. Where you were rejected, you'll be accepted. I said, where they say no to you, they will say yes. Anywhere they're discussing your matter, I'm favor we break the protocol. If you believe me and not rise your feet, let your amen slap the devil. Wave your hand and shout no more protocol. I can't hear you. Wave your hand and say no more protocol. And Jesus said to the man, well, in case you don't understand who you are dealing with, I am Zoe, made alive. Now carry your bag, rise and walk. He suspended the four protocol. When mercy is at work, judgment is suspended. What has started for that? that what, what is God saying? Now, I, I'm having an understanding that some problems that have lasted, they are not everlasting that in a moment from now in the next 10-15 minutes everything that has carried you you will soon carry them you didn't hear I said you will soon carry them I said you will soon carry them wave your hand and shout he's here say it again say he's here I speak into your life by the anointing of the Holy Ghost whatever that makes others to be accepted and you are rejected by the mountain that breaks protocol, Malia do Sabi Asatoba, Likro Shabridas Kelebra Ostabahaya. As your amen rises to heaven, the protocols are suspended. I said the protocols are suspended. And that was how the story of that eight years of pain was re was restored because the protocol breaker came on the scene and suspended the four protocol and said you don't need the protocol when the miracle worker is around i introduce you to jesus the miracle worker i introduce you to jesus the deliverer i introduce you to jesus the one that can emancipate you if you rise up and say amen jesus will do wonders in your life tonight i said my messiah will pay your bills if your amen is better, you are the one I'm talking about. Now let's look at divine triggers for the breaking of protocol. What can I do as a child of God in order to break protocol and suspend protocol and superimpose the workings of divinity upon humanity? Someone say, tell us. I didn't hear you say, tell us. Number one, if you want to break men's protocol and connect to the dimensions of the miraculous, number one thing you need to engage is what we call the force of divine encounter. 
divine encounter is a suspender of men's protocol anytime God wants to bypass the limitations of men he will introduce the supernatural anytime God wants to do something that is unusual he will pour out the miraculous Hosea chapter 12 verse 13 he said by the hand of the prophet the children of Israel were delivered and by the hand of the prophet they were preserved what is an encounter? an encounter is divine manifestation of the hand of God over an earthly problem in order to manifest the reality of the supernatural that is encounter, put your hands upon your head tonight you are going to have an encounter that will pay your bills I said, you will have an encounter that will pay your bills. I said, you will have an encounter that will pay your bills. I was ministering 10 years ago in the ninth vigil. I called the name of a lady by prophecy. Said, there is a lady here. Your name is this. You have a vaginal lump. You have what? The lady, she was, she, she, she was so surprised. He said, there's no way. This is my first time of coming to this meeting. Even people around my house does not know that I have some such encounter. I didn't know that they have all prepared for a serious operation in an Indian hospital. But that night, just like we have gathered, I said, your name is this. You are there. You are there. You have this. I went. I said, come out here. The anointing to heal you is upon me. The fine girl cut to walk and came out. As she came out, I said, Is that true? He said, Yes, sir. He's been here for seven years. Nobody knew. I'm the only one carrying it. I said, Lift up your hand. He said, Right now, for the seed which my father has not planted, must. Look at me. The protocol was for them to go to India, but the encounter is shortening protocol. Hey! I, I pray for somebody here. Anything that the devil has kept on your head to prolong your journey to Canaan by the mountain of heaven, it shall be destroyed. I said, It shall be destroyed. I said, It shall be destroyed. Somebody shall I break protocols? I laid hands on her, bam, instantly the tumor on her vagina dissolved. That was Thursday night on Sunday. Friday, Saturday, went to the doctor. No trace of any growth anywhere she came on church on sunday with reports and we prayed for her as she rolled on the floor look at me that's my anointing is still upon my head put upon your put your hands upon your head i don't make noise i don't make noise but if you've been familiar if you've been close to my ministry you will know that the hand of god is upon me i pray for everyone here tonight what doctors couldn't handle what what drugs couldn't handle what who you know couldn't handle by the mantle that breaks protocol if you say amen it shall be suspended amen. by the hand of the prophet the children of israel were delivered by the hand of the prophet they were preserved and the prophet is among you and you are looking like that put your hands upon your head everything that the devil has put in your life as a satanic embargo i come by the mantle and the ordinance of jehovah if you say amen that embargo catches fire i said the embargo catches fire somebody shall divine encounter how else can i break protocol number two the force of god's appointed time the force of god's appointed time help me tell somebody there is something called appointed time and if you are with me help me tell somebody i'm going to begin to pray look at me as i begin to pray a, a lot of miracles will happen here tonight i came here prepared if you look into my eyes fire will leave my eyes and turn your life around we are not in the order of those that make mouth you will see with your eyes Sorry, said the force of appointed time. Now, in God's programming, there is something we call the Chronos time and the Kairos time. The Chronos time is the calendar sequential order of numbering. For example, after January, you will meet February, and after February, you will meet March. And for March, we will be there. Uh -huh. That one is called what? The Chronos. Someone say Chronos. 
even if you don't know what you are saying, say chronos. Then there is another one that is fused with the workings of the supernatural, and we call that one the Kairos. Ladies and gentlemen, what is Kairos? Kairos is God's appointed time to bless a man even if you are hiding under altar satan cannot touch you because by the operation of the legislative council of heaven by the blueprint and by the writing of god that concerns you time and season have come into agreement whether your village people like it or not whether the devil like it or not that this is the time set aside for the blessing and for the emancipation no one that the Bible says, say ye to the daughter of Zion, that the time wave your hand and shout, my time has come. I don't like the way you're behaving. Lift up your hand and shout, my time has come. Say, say you to the daughter of Zion, that has time, say, I said time has come. Ladies and gentlemen, 50 of you tonight, I trumpet by the audacity of my ordination. From now to the end of March, your time for your emancipation has come. I said, your time for your emancipation has come. Wave your hand and shut no more protocol. So, appointed time is a breaker of what? The Bible will say, at the fullness of time, God manifested Jesus. When you see Jesus at age 12, you will think he doesn't know what he's doing. Don't write off a man whose time you don't know. That is why a man becomes dangerous when their time comes. And the Lord tell me, 50 of you, after tonight, you are entering into your times. Look at me. That guy was a capital God, my guy. Mark 6 3. He said, and Jesus was what? A carpenter. But in Luke 4 14, and he said, and when he returned, he returned in the power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus, the carpenter, became Jesus, the anointed. Put your hands upon your hair. Malia Namahasta, I feel like telling you, Abuja will not deny you this year. You see this land, Abuja will vomit blessings for you. Abuja will vomit favor for you. If you are hearing the mouth, if you are hearing the voice of the mandated prophet, lift up your voice and shout, I hear you. Help me tell somebody, my time has come. I, I, I'm not hearing you tell the person, my time has come. Hey, when King consulted the book of record and said, This man that saved my life from this miscreant, what good has done to him? And they said, Nothing good. But the, who is the man that was being spoken about? A man they come with a kaya, he was a gate man. Look at me, a gate man can be a dangerous man when his time comes. A gate man can be a PA to the president. When when heaven stumbled into his archive, a gate man can be a miracle worker. When the Malia passed a career, a gate man can be a power shooter. When God stumbles into the Cairo season, I feel like telling 50 of you here tonight, I don't know where you are, but the king cannot sleep. King is calling for somebody's record. Those that looked at you, I heard the Lord said, the stone which the builders has received Rejected is about becoming the chief corner. Who am I talking to tonight? I prophesy in the name of him that died and resurrected. Ralia Masota Ikalibaha by the law of the Kairos programming. Protocols are suspended. Wave your hand and shut is my time. If you are feeling my flow, wave your hand and shut is my time. Look at me. If you are not sure about you, I am sure of myself. The Lord told me, my mother called me this afternoon and said, son, I had a revelation where you took, where you took over Abuja. I said, mommy, what do you say? So I've been praying for you and the Lord said to me, that was the woman that prayed me to Christ. She's my prayer warrior. There is nothing happened in my life today that took her by surprise. He said, my son, I want to tell you something. God said, I should tell you, it's time for your announcement. I said, Mama, everybody is prophesying about it. 
every man of God that knows me and sending me prophecy, man of God, we saw where you have been mandated and enthroned. We saw where the city of Abuja was given to you. So I know I don't need a naysayer to know that my time has come. Hey! And of his fullness we have received grace to grace. From the grace I have received, I put it upon your head. If you stand up and say, Amen, your time has come. I said, your time has come. Wave your hand and shout, it's my time. Number three, how do we break protocol? What I'm teaching you is prophetic. Number three, engage the force of favor. Favor is a breaker of protocol. Can we say that? Say it to your neighbor by, by your neighbor by yourself. Let him hear you very well. Want to go? Do you hear English by to eight? Say it again. Let Abuja hear you. Want to go? Do you want protocols to be suspended? Be anointed with favor. A man that is smeared with the oil of favor cannot be resisted. Favor is an aroma that when it encapsulates a man, it goes like a heralder announcing you before you come. Favor is receiving without asking. You didn't ask for anything and yet you were blessed. I show you a scripture in Luke chapter 1 verse 28. The Bible said, And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail thou, hail thou are highly favored. Put your hands on your chest and shout, I am highly favored. Say, The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. In the days of Mary, there were other virgins, but favor selected her. Can I tell you something? Favor will break protocol and select you. Favor will manifest you and put a crown of honor upon your head. Do you know by the writing of Torah, Torah is the compilation of the Mosaic law, the old covenant. The prophecy has said that the scepter will not depart out of Judah until Shiloh comes. But do you know, on a good day, a man favored from God came from the tribe of Benjamin. Prophecy was suspended. Did you hear what I said? Prophecy has said that scepter of rulership will not depart from Judah until Christ's second coming. Now what it means that even now, if you go to Israel, whoever that matters has a connection to Judah. But one day, in first somewhere, nineteen, a young boy who was not looking for royalty encountered favor by a prophetic encounter, and God said, "Even though I have said that a king will come from Judah, but because of favor, I changed my mind. I, I changed my mind. Put your hands upon your head. Alibro sovali askabahateya. The favor of God will cause God to change His mind and bless you." If you stand up and say amen, you are the one I'm talking about. Somebody said, I am favored. Was it not a favor that announced Esther in the land of captivity? Esther, Esther. If your name is Esther, you are a star. Do I have Esther here? You are a star. Even if it's not your name, wave your hand, say I'm a star. Daniel chapter 12 verse 3 says that those who turn men to the God's righteousness, they shall shine as a star. So you don't need to be Esther to be a star. If you are a seed of God, you are a star. Put your hands on your head and say, I'm a star. I'm a star. Jump on your feet and shall let Abuja get angry with you. Praise the Lord. The force of favor is very powerful. It makes you to receive without asking. People bless you and tell you, thank you, sir. Thank you for collecting not this one you are running around everywhere and they are talking to you anyhow. They bless you, they respect you, they honor you. Because something that is bigger than you is upon your life. Yes, and I carry favor. I do, Everything I have received in life came on the wings of favor. Yes, Put your hands upon your head. Of the same fullness that I have received, I make you a recipient. Yes. 
between now and May, before our anniversary, you are returning with a favor testimony. I said, you are returning with a favor testimony. The next trigger of the next trigger that can break protocol is what I call the force of purity and integrity. Genesis 39 verse 9. Joseph said, how can I do this sin and commit this great wickedness against God? Do you want God to bypass a million and use you to do something unusual? Then subscribe to purity and integrity. When God sees a believer hiding in the room of a sinner, he makes him to frown. If you are redeemed, blood bought, there is a kind of life you must not live. I find that the holiness, purity, the Bible said that the integrity of the righteous man shall preserve. Have you tell somebody, integrity is a preserver. Say it again, say integrity. I saw in Daniel chapter 1 verse 8, he said, And I, Daniel, I have proposed in my heart that I shall not defile myself with the king's delicacy. The reason why a lot of people protocols have not been suspended is because each time God looks at you, you are found wanting. That is something that you said you have abandoned that you are still doing secretly. How can you say you are a child of God and you are still into fornication, masturbation, alcoholism, nightclubbing, all manner of whole, you know, life of a holy guy? And you are still, you, the, with the same mouth you eat communion, you still use the same mouth to drink moet. Smoke cigarette. Take drug. And the Lord said, I will have ended protocol. But because of the kind of life you are living, you are a suspect. I will hands off. Lift up your hands wherever you are. I pray for somebody here. Anything that wants to shorten the hand of God from, perform his, from performing his eternal counsel concerning you, if you say amen, the dominion of that sin shall be broken. Amen. Do you know that purity is a shield? When a man lives in holiness, you don't die like a chicken. Each time you defile yourself, you create a hole that the devil can shoot you through. And he can kill you. A lot of believers die, not because there is no power of God. They die because the shield has been taken away. I pray for somebody here. Because of your lifestyle, the shield of security shall not be taken away from you. If you hear me well, say a better amen. The next one is the force of faith. Some say the force of faith. I can't even say the force of faith. You can use faith to break what? Protocol. What is faith? Faith is practical confidence in God and in his word. That's number one. What is faith? Faith is the response of the recreated human spirit to the revelation of God's word. That's number two. What is faith? Faith is believing and speaking. So it's a believing and speaking. Hebrews 11 verse 6 he said, Without faith it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Romans chapter 12 verse 3 says, But we all, God has dealt with us a measure of faith. Lift up your hand and shout, I have faith. Shout the letter, Abuja, hear your voice. I have faith. Jesus said, if your faith could be as little as the mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, relocate and the mountain will obey. Faith is a crusher of human protocol. Archbishop Bessley, the host of Blessed Memory said, when your faith says yes, God cannot say no. How many of us tonight is your faith saying yes? How many of you believe that anointing of God is here to give you a testimony? When your faith says what? When your face says what? Yes. Nobody can say no. Faith is the response of the recreated human spirit to the revelation of God's word. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Look at me. The blessings of God are spiritual. It is only faith that makes them tangible. Shall I say it again? Say the blessings of God. As spiritual, it's only faith that makes it tangible. What that means is you can be a believer and be riding your jet in the dream till you die. Every day you are doing dedication in the dream, mansion, housewarming. 
In, in, how many people feel come for your house for dream? Not only you. <laughs> now, uh, the kind of dream I had, I had today. I, I was opening my duplex. President Buhari was there. Everybody was there. And you're 20 years in the faith. You keep having that faith until Jesus return. But he said, do you want to transition from the realms of Ephesians 1 verse 3? For he has blessed us with all blessing. We are in heaven. But we are not yet there. We need to convert them in the earthly places. I need my blessing. We are let me tell somebody, enough of that dream, John. Say it again. Say, enough of that dream. Let me tell somebody, hey! Yeah. Wake up! Yeah. It's a dream! Yeah. And the question is, man of God, how can I convert? Faith is a converter. How can I convert eternal threshold of everlasting promises into something that is relatable blessing? Someone said, faith. faith. And faith comes by the... Yeah. Wave your hand and shout, this is good for me. Good for me. I am telling you so that you don't go to Mabah and Lawo and false prophet. Wondering how... See, anything I have seen in life came on the threshold of faith. Anything I need, I just condemn my needs. I pray about it. I sow a seed about it and I expect it. I show you a scripture on faith that I like. Second Corinthians 4 verse 3. We're going to pray and I begin to release grace. The Lord told me he's going to release the grace of on time to 50 persons here. Yeah. If you're part of those 50 persons, rise your feet and shout a better amen. amen. Someone said, I have faith. Say it again. Say, I have faith. More word, more faith. More action, more reality. The, the, the more you give yourself to action, you respond to it more reality of faith you see so i hear you i love this three days ago the holy ghost defined faith like this second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 13 we having the same spirit of faith somebody say we have the same spirit of faith what the scripture is saying is the same faith that operated in moses that operated in abraham that operated in jesus we that is the new creation it is the same faith that is in us. Somebody say we. Touch yourself and say we. Having the same kind of faith. According as it is written. I believe. Therefore I have spoken. So what is faith? I believe and I speak. Can we practicalize it? How many of you believe you are prosperous? So faith says lift up your hands open your mouth and say that is faith. Now that's one level of faith. The next one level of faith is what? You sow what? Prosperity seed. To see the harvest of what? Prosperity. Genesis chapter 8 verse 22 said that as long as the heaven and earth remaineth, that seed time and harvest. How many of you believe that you are healed? Because it is written by his tribe, I am healed. Do you believe you are healed? Now faith says, let's say what faith says, lift up your hands, one, two, go. Say it again. Say it again. Now, as you are healed, go and hide your paradol and your paracetamol. If you are sleeping on the bed, wake up from the bed, take up, take, go and take your bath. That is action side of faith. Am I teaching on faith tonight? Let's move. Let's move. Malaya. Number six, the force of prayer. The force of prayer. We can use prayer to break protocol. We can use prayer to, to reverse satanic decrees. When the devil says that what is yours cannot enter into your hands, by the force of prayer, there can be a reversal. When men that are righteous, that stands in the council of God, prays, heaven and earth is readjusted. And I am one man that when I pray, things happen. When I pray, things what? When I pray, things what? A young girl, they were about going to India on Sunday. One of the kidney failed. The mother said, no, I have a prophet in Abuja. Let's go to service. And after service, she came. And they told me, I said, well, since you have met with me, there is no problem. I have Zoe. Look at me. Somebody say, Christ. Say, Christ is a realm. Christ is a person. As a realm, he is in the heavenly places. 
as a person he is God with us should I say it again say Christ, Christ. is a realm Christ, Christ is a person as a realm he lives in the heavenly places as a person he is God within me Paul said Christ in me the hope of glory look at me you want to produce heaven from above produce heaven from within Do you hear what I said? For out of your belly. Somebody say, I carry heaven. Touch your belly, say, I carry heaven. Say, so right now, Christ is in me. Shout, amen. amen. You know what that means? When next you want to die heaven, die God within. Hello. He lives in us by the power of the Holy Spirit. Whatever Jesus did bodily, we can do by the enablement of the Holy Spirit. So, I told the woman, well, doctors have said, but can God say something? I said, right now I'm going to pray. And the kidney that was meant to die will revive. I held the girl's belly. Bam! Immediately I started breaking upon the baby. I see the kidney begin to vibrate. They let it fight up, fight up. Immediately heat came upon her. I, the Holy Ghost said to me, tell her she's healed. And she left. Tuesday she came. She, her skin has changed and there is life. Look at me. By the time I touch you tonight, heaven will visit you. Yeah. Rifkatu's brother came. Carrying, what is that thing called? Call her. When you carry heaven and you see the nonsense of devil, you get angry. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good. I can't be stranded. I cannot die before my time. I am blessed. I am walking in the highest order of power. I, I pray for 50 of you here. Anything that has resisted you by the power of the Holy Ghost. As you stand over and say amen, it shall be cancelled. I came and told it in. Bam! As he fell under anointing. And next Sunday, his, 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 his neck was strengthened to you today. Put your hands upon your head. But you see, you can't break those protocols if you're not a prayerful person. When we pray, we generate energy. When we pray, we connect divine sensitivity. A man that doesn't pray will go to Baba Lawa. The only option God has given to us to generate Holy Ghost kind of power is through traveling. Isaiah 66 verse 8 said, And when Zion travel, said that the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. Can I pray for you tonight? I pray for everyone that is here. The month of March will end well for you. The next one is the force of sacrifice is a protocol breaker. There are things that will keep working in your house and in your family until you take a decision to stop them by sacrifice. Sacrifice is giving to God something that is painful in order to obtain something that is gainful. Satanic systems can be broken by sacrifice. Do you know that God broke protocol? By sending Jesus as sacrifice. If a man must have a baby, he must pay the sacrifice of a sperm that must collide with a woman's egg if life must begin. Sacrifice. Now look at me. The reason why lots of Christians are struggling, no matter who prays for them, there is no manifest change, is because they don't understand the sacrosanity and the powerful effect of the ordinance of sacrifice. We believe this message has blessed you. For more life-transforming messages, prayers, and counseling, call 080-3391-2971 or 0809-178-7299 or 0805-716-1060. Or send an email to Zion Heritage Ministries at gmail.com or visit us at Zion Heritage off Voice of Nigeria Entrance, 
Lube Phase 4, Airport Road, FCT Abuja. Or check our website www.zionheritageministries.org. We invite you to worship with us in our enthronement service. First service, 8 a.m. Second service, 10 a.m. Also on Wednesday by 5 p.m. Remain lifted for life.